Well, here we have a Japanese plum growing nicely. It's been in a few years. Again, same situation with these as with peaches or cherries or almonds, and we need to open the center up and we need to thin out the main branches. Looking right here in the middle of the tree, I see we have one branch right here that's coming right up through the center. See? And so that'll be the first one that I'm going to remove. It's probably best to use a saw for this. The branch is rather large, and so I'm going to take this folding hand saw and cut this baby off right there. And then there's my harvest laying right here on the ground. And if we go back into the tree, we can see I sawed it off right there, and that opened the middle up some. But we still have branches coming up the center. There's one right here, another one crossing there. Another one over there. So I'm going to go through the tree and remove everything going through the center. There we go. Now we got everything cleared out of the middle of the tree. And get rid of most of the crossing wood in the tree. And what I have left are some great big long branches that I can't reach from the ground. So now I'm going to have to go with a pole lopper, like this one, right here on the ground. And reach up high in that tree and cut them back. There we have it. Japanese plum. Took out all the wood that was growing through the middle of the tree, thinned the wood because it gets too crowded and then it will race for outer space against itself. Uh, then I shortened up all the wood to cause a little bit of branching so things grow closer to the ground next year. Um, best advice I have on Japanese plums is keep them thin. Don't let them get crowded. Open them up. Definitely get in there every year and thin the trees out really well. Spread the branches out six to ten inches across the main limbs. And then when the tree is seven years old plus, it's possible to cut off a hundred percent of last year's wood every year from a Japanese plum because they'll fruit on some long lived fruiting spears that are down deep inside the canopy. So if you really want to keep them short, just save the fruiting spurs down there on the main trunk and cut away everything else annually after about the seventh year. Happy gardening.